hidden features in Minecraft, not so hidden anymore. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Help support Twit with your Amazon purchases. Visit twit.tv slash Amazon, click on the Amazon banner, and shop as usual. It doesn't cost you anything and helps support Twit. That's twit.tv slash Amazon, and we thank you for your support. Hello, and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today we are getting to your emails. This one starts off, Hi Chad, I was wondering about some hidden features in Minecraft. Like, how do you hover over a block? Then how do you click some button, I'm not sure which, then it gives you that block. Thanks, a Minecraft girl. In terms of features that are less intuitive than uh, you know, grabbing an item or, or hovering over a block, um, there aren't a whole bunch of them, and you actually touched on most of them. There are a few other hidden Easter eggs in the game, like pirate speak in the language settings, but other than that, I'm going to stay with features. Yep. So first, to cover hovering over blocks. What I assume you meant was whenever you can hover kind of way over here on the edge. And uh, I just did that other thing that you're talking about, which is grabbing one of those blocks instantly out of your inventory. So if I take some of these grass blocks and bring them way up here and land on top of this block, I can even set myself into uh, game mode, whoops, game mode zero here. And you can see that I can get right over the edge and I can sort of hover. And this is what I assume you're talking about. This is actually a technique of holding down the sneak key, the shift key. You can see very a small amount, if you look at the top edge of the video, you can see that I crouch down just a tiny bit. And if I hit the F5 key, you can see that my character also crouches down as well. Well, what I'm doing is sneaking, and whenever you are in sneak mode, you can go right up to the edge of a block and you won't fall off. It just won't happen. This is a really good way to look over a block, and this is what I assume you mean by hovering. Now, if this isn't what you're talking about, you can always go into game mode one, which is the creative mode, and if you jump twice, you will fly. So if you jump twice in a row, you'll move into fly mode, and there you can fly all around all that you want. Once you land on the ground, you'll be taken out of flying, and so you can fall down just like normal, and you can still use that shift technique. Now, another hidden thing that isn't quite as intuitive as uh, most other people know is if you have a lot of items in your inventory, you can also use shift to move uh, a large amount of those items. So let's say I have a few stacks of grass here. If I hold down shift, I can move all of them instead of picking them up and dragging them over. So shift does that as well. And shift does another thing, which I've covered before. If you have a few multiplayer servers, like this Play Minecraft server, you can hold down shift and use your arrow keys to move these servers up and down. So shift is kind of a hidden feature uh, that does quite a lot in Minecraft. Now, next, uh, you had talked about how do you go up to a block and say you want this block and then automatically, boop, it's in your hand. Obviously, you're hitting some key, but what key is that? Well, by default, it's the middle mouse button, and this works on just about every block. This will even work on things like dogs. So if I run over here to this dog, I can click him as well. We've shown this off before as the fastest way to pick blocks in Minecraft, even with this trapped chest right here. Um, and so that's what you're doing. It's middle mouse uh, button by default, but you can easily switch that in your control settings. It's this first pick block option right here. You can see that because I'm on a laptop, I've set mine to R, which is just a, you know, just pretty close to the normal keys that I use anyway. I've also seen this as the, uh, the tilde or the circumflex key because it's next to your number keys, which is kind of a natural position for your hands to be in. 
This not only works in uh, creative mode, which I'm in right now, but it will also work in uh, game mode zero or survival mode as well. So let's say uh, that I wanted to pick this flower. If I hit the same key, if it's in my inventory, it will automatically switch to that block. Now it's not advanced enough to say if you had this in uh, your, your backpack sort of area, if you hit the pick block key, it won't automatically pull that out of your inventory. But if you walk up to a block that you have in your hotbar, you can use that pick block key and it will switch to it, which makes construction a little bit faster. And finally, if you're back in creative mode, you can also use that pick block key, which I was doing before in this chest, to pick up a stack of that item. So let's say I want more of these poppies, I can hit the pick block key, and now I have a lot more. If I want some more of yeah, anything uh, that has an item in Minecraft. Another unintuitive uh, thing in the game is that the number keys will actually move items if you're hovering over it. So I'm hovering mm. over this poppy right now, and if I hit the two key, it will automatically switch whichever block that I'm hovering over into the second inventory slot. So this works really well if you normally have something like, let's say, uh, a sword that's always in your first position, mm -hmm. and then a pick that's always in the second position, and then you know something as simple as, as torches in the last mm -hmm. position. I can go over here and I can put a few of these somewhere else in my inventory, and I can just say one, two, and these ones I'm gonna put in nine and it'll fill the rest in. This will also work with empty uh, uh, slots as well. So let's say I know that I have something in my third area, but I want it placed over here. I can hit three and it'll transfer that up there. That is a very little known feature. Yep. If you want even more hidden features in Minecraft, I suggest that you check out our function key episode. That's the row of F1 through 12 keys at the top of your keyboard. All of those do fancy and interesting things like allow you to look into different uh, camera positions and that sort of thing. If you want to find also some hidden blocks in Minecraft, we did an episode on that a while back as well. When we recorded that episode, we were on version 1.6.2 and currently those hidden blocks are no, no, no longer Longer in Minecraft, so you'll have to roll back your Minecraft version. Finally, do you shop at Amazon? Do you want to help support OMG Craft with your Amazon purchases? Well, you can by clicking through the banner at twit.tv slash Amazon, and anything that you buy on Amazon will help us here at Twit. It doesn't charge you anything and it won't it won't uh, make anything that you purchase on Amazon any more expensive, but it will help us out. So that's twit.tv slash Amazon and we thank you for supporting our show. Do you have any tips, tricks, suggestions, feedback that you want to send our way? Feel free to email me at mail at omgcraft.com and please subscribe at youtube.com slash omgcraft or twit.tv slash omgcraft. See you next time. Bye. Hey.